So you want to be a low down, dirty, good for nothing Ken player? That's a good choice! Neutral. Whip punish with sweep. Kaboom! Also, max range sweep. It's not against, not, not, not if they have SA3. Not if they have SA3, don't do that. If they don't got it, you're good. Is your opponent pairing low in neutral? Pick him in the face. They can't parry that low. Are they really trying to forward parry, down parry you in neutral? Dash up and grab him. Are you playing against Hugo? Just do an EX Tatsu. Don't worry about why, just do it. Pow! Oh, but how could one forget low forward super? Just do it whether or not you're looking, whether it's gonna hit or not. Just do it in their face. They'll probably just run into it. <laughs> with punishing with low forward super is actually very, very much so key to playing this character. Like this! If you got the skills to pay the bills, you can whiff punish with super. Hiya! Before we move on to knockdowns, we're gonna move on to things that kind of double as neutral tools and tools you can use when you're up in their face. Stay medium punch, link super. Crouching medium punch, link super. That's it. <laughs> so what do you do when you get up all in their face? Sweet, dash up, boom, boom, confirm super. Medium punch, quarter circle, heavy punch. That's how you do it, quick. If they block it, don't do it. Don't do it. Some people throw the fireball, it makes it easier to confirm the super, but then they can parry your fireball and you get f***ed. <laughs> medium punch can be parried high. You have an option to go low and hit them low. So if they high parry, because they think you're going to do medium punch, heavy punch, and you go low, you can confirm the super with short short. So with the short short, you do the corner circle forward after the second short, but you confirm it for the first hit. If you have this handy dandy training mode, go into random guard and practice. Just like that! Now we got back medium kick, it's an overhead, it's got two hits, you play it, if you do it against me, I'm gonna parry it and kill you. <laughs> Easy confirm! Universal overhead super! Boom, 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 If you space it correctly, you don't have to confirm it because he lands faster, the hit stun is less when you hit him, blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to grab him! Grab him while wake up! Little known fact about third strike that I didn't know for 10 years and it pissed me off because I thought I could tech all these throws and I wasn't. If you parry on wake up, you cannot tech throws. If you parry at all, you can't tech throws. But on wake up, especially people parry. So if you grab them and they parry on wake up, they can't tech tech throw. So what if they knock you down? Block! But if you don't feel like blocking, heavy punch uppercut. Master uppercut! Super! Confirm the super! Light punch uppercut does not have invincibility. But it works, because <laughs> it's faster. If they mistime their meter, it happens all the time. Last but certainly not least, the highest priority on your list should be to learn how to parry Hoyokusen so you can get a you can get a hot clip on Justin Wong's YouTube channel. Seven hits! Seven! Ah! Ah! You can match up the super at the end! It's eight hits if they do it in the corner. Like and subscribe, comment in the sections below. Good luck.